Hey everybody, this is Jerry Nines coming at you with a quick one. Combat grips. When we talk about combat grips, we might be talking about a lot of different things. We might be talking about uh, combat style sports shooting, and you're going to see a lot of different variations on that theme. But if you've been paying attention to my channel, you know my channel is really based on practical firearm use, especially as it pertains to everyday life for concealed carry, home defense, defending defense of yourself, defense of others. And so for that, I general and, and also I think it's safe to say uh, duty use, military, law enforcement, government, etc. When we talk about the martial use of the handgun, sometimes I think people miss the mark. I'm going to show you three guns really quickly. Uh, here we have a Smith & Wesson. Uh, this one was actually made for me by the Performance Center. This is essentially a double action only 9mm. Now, no magazine. And that weapon is clear. It's been physically and visibly inspected before our video started. But this gun here, if you notice, the grips, although they do have some checkering, the checkering on the plastic is light. It's relatively broad. There is some slight machining on the front strap there. And we do have, again, sort of that minimalist style checkering on the back. This does allow me to get a good purchase on the grips on the firearm itself, yet at the same time, it's not that 30 line per inch checkering on metal that locks my hand kind of wherever I get it. If we notice on the Springfield SA35, which is their version of the Browning High Power, again, clear gun, visually and physically inspected prior to shooting. And you'll notice that in this case, we have, or in this case, we have some wood checkered grips Again, the checkering is not uh, insane. It's relatively shallow, and it provides me with some purchase, but it's not it's not gripping me. And the front strap and the back strap are smooth. Here is a uh, custom Gerson from the folks at BH Spring Solutions. They loaned me this gun for some testing. And again, you'll notice we are clear, already inspected prior to filming. In this case, with their BH Spring Solutions heirloom grips, which are smooth with just a little ledge for the thumb. And again, the back strap is smooth and the front strap is smooth. So, these to me are combat pistols with combat grips. What that means is that when you may have to deploy a handgun in a self-defense situation, duty situation, defense of yourself, defense of others, then you may not have the opportunity to get a perfect grip the moment you grip on the firearm. Now, yeah, some people will say you should always establish a perfect grip whenever you're drawing your firearm. Well, that's really nice in theory, but in practice, it isn't always possible. The great Paris Theodore, the designer of the ASP pistol or the ASP pistol, also kept his grips entirely smooth because he realized that there are times when you might have to grab your weapon in a hurry and then establish a proper grip. And this might just take microseconds, right? But establish a proper grip at a time that is different from when you establish the grip that you draw from. So you get those really high-end 1911s that are beautiful masterpieces and that checkering is gorgeous and all these different things that lock your hand onto the gun wherever you first touch it. Uh, skateboard tape is, is another thing that people sometimes use. And I just think that we need to challenge some of these long-held norms and say, hey, maybe just maybe we've been thinking about this maybe incorrectly. I just said maybe a bunch of times because you know what? Everything is up for debate. Hey, this is Jerry Nines with a really short video. Just something to think about when we think about how we're going to carry and deploy handguns in a more martial or more real-world setting. That's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for listening. Like and subscribe and all that stuff below. And God bless America.